Although bacteria, such as E. coli, naturally live happily in our gut, we can take them out of that environment and grow them in big bioreactors. The cool thing is, we can use them like tiny chemical factories and tell them via genetic engineering to produce all kinds of useful compounds. But what kind of food shall we give our tiny factories so that they can produce whatever we want? Bacteria are actually pretty amazing, as they don't need such a diverse nutrition as we do. They can make each of these building blocks themselves. However, if you give them more food, they will still really like it, because they will start growing like bananas. Isn't this a funny thing, that when you give them more food, they grow faster? If you stuff a baby with food, you can't expect it to reach adulthood faster. It's also not nice for the baby. So bacteria grow faster or slower, depending on what building blocks is given to them. But how do they do this? You can think of it this way. In a factory that builds laptops, all the laptop parts need to be ordered in a balanced way. If the factory is lacking LCD screens, other parts pile up, which is a waste of resources at that moment. So the manager doesn't buy more keyboards. Instead, they slow down the production of keyboards until more LCD screens are purchased. Bacteria too are specialized factories that can produce more of themselves using the nutrients from the environment. Like the manager, they are faced with these issues the whole time. However, producing an entire bacteria from scratch is an extremely complicated task. So how can a bacteria handle this task? Well, bacteria have actually a manager inside them, which is called PPGPP, a small signaling molecule. If the environment is lacking proteins, PPGPP levels in bacteria increase very fast and force the bacteria into making more proteins. If we then add proteins to the media, PPGPP levels go down and bacteria spend all their energy and material into growing because all the building blocks are now available. Since the goal of biotechnology is to engineer bacteria to produce useful chemicals instead of growing, we need to understand how the manager PPGPP controls the factory. Then we can trick him into producing things for us, like biofuels for your car or drugs that make you better. Thank you.